Hello there Pisces, welcome to your reading. Um, when I was shuffling out the spread, I saw an image. I saw this man, He's uh, he looks like he's wearing, you know, like a navy type of an outfit. He's at a port and it doesn't look like it's modern time. It looks like, you know, several hundred years ago where he's at a port and you have all these boats coming through. So some of them are big, big boats. Some of them are just like little passenger um, ships and um, he he orders some men to go on board the ship to inspect and then once they finish their inspection they gives him the thumbs up then he allows the boat to come in and then i see this um really small it's it's like a seafaring boat and there are women and children uh in the boat and they're all covered up like they it's cold so they have their shawls on and they just look a little bit scared and uh, they come to him or the boat you know kind of drifts towards him and he looks at it and he glances at you know what's in their little um they have like a little box where all the passengers store their their belongings he inspects it very very briefly he feels bad for them so he's like i'm not going to give them a hard time and then he lets them in and the person that's steering the boat they um you know quietly kind of drift into the 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 harbor so when I saw that, um, I feel almost like, I, I don't see that man being you. I don't see that man being you. I see that man being, you know, um, a, a, an energy of somebody around you, somebody who is protective of you somebody who's also you know facilitating something in order to allow you to transition smoothly it's it seems to me like it could be a combination of divine guidance like um, the universe interfering to help ease a situation for you or I feel like it could be physical people in your environment doing things to facilitate progress and movement for you like they're not trying to give you a hard time they're just doing you know their job but at the same time they understand that you've been through a lot and so they're facilitating that process for you so that you can transition into a place that is a lot better it's like they're looking out for you okay so the energy is very beautiful it's very beautiful it's very loving it's very forgiving and I almost feel in a way, it's almost like your karmic past coming back uh, to, 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 to ease things for you or to help you, okay? Um, I mentioned before, Pisces, you guys are very, very forgiving of other people. And, you know, you, you guys are very understanding. You guys are also very, very loving towards other people. You don't have to know somebody personally to feel pity for them or to feel bad for them or to feel like i have to help this person because they're going through a lot and i feel like you know throughout your life you've taken on the role of the the facilitator the one that helps other people so that they can do things properly so that you can you know facilitate something for another person and as a result of it you have some really good karma coming back in for this month in order to for the universe for others around you to facilitate things for you okay uh, what I feel here is a very strong um, business family uh, type of a dynamics here we have here the Queen of Wands and this is like maternal energy okay being very very protective of the people in your family defending them fighting for them and as a result of it um, you are able to earn a lot of respect and to earn a lot of protection, okay? Um, what I feel is for some of you, especially for those who have children, uh, your children, you know, we, whenever there is like a family dynamics in any type of a situation, um, despite our differences, despite, you know, um, how stubborn or independent your children are, um, I feel it's almost like when push comes to shove, you definitely can rely on them and they will be there to defend your honor if need be. They will be there to protect you. So I feel like there is an immense sense of family loyalty. There is an immense sense of being loyal to the people that we love and in return being able to garner loyalty from the people who love us. Okay. 
So I feel like there is a family dynamic here where despite all the strife, despite all the ideological differences, the stubbornness, the power struggles, there's still this sense of innate loyalty. We have to stick together and we have to, you know, um, look out for one another. Uh, for those of you, I, I feel this and I know it's strange, but um, especially if you have like, you know, two, three kids, the oldest child is sort of like the, the the child that gives you a lot of grief. They're the ones that are, you know, um, they and I'm, I'm physically hearing mom, you should not do it like that. Like some a child telling you that and, you know, they could be adult children. They could be like an adult child. But they're still like they feel like they need to interject they feel like you're doing things a, a specific way that they don't approve of but at the end of the day it's like whenever you're in um you whenever you're in any type of a, a whenever you encounter problems whenever you're in a situation that you can't get out of you know you can contact this child and this child is sort of like your protector your problem solver and kind of like the strategist in your life okay so i feel this very very strong power struggle but at the same time this very deep sense of love and loyalty between you and the children okay so that's for those of you who have children for those of you who do not have children this indicates to me as well you're um, a force to be reckoned with in your work environment it's right next to the Eight of Pentacles, which is a work, career, finance type of a card. This is the month where you are exuding a lot of energy, okay? Crown Chakra, all lit up. Being somebody who other people come to for advice. And um, you have a lot of expertise. You have a lot of skills that are highly... I, I feel like it's... Um, You've, you have been learning a lot and you're in a position now where you are passing out your knowledge or you are giving other people, you know, it's like giving people a piece of your mind, but in a way where you're allowing them to come to you and then you can give them advice, you can give them counsel, you can show them how to do things. So I feel like your career is really, really lit up for this month and there is a lot of success coming through. Six of Wands. It says success here, six of wands. And basically what this denotes is all the hard work that you've put in, it's paying dividends. You're being noticed, you're getting the recognition. And I also feel as well, um, there is a strong protection energy in your work environment. Somebody who's very protective of you, somebody who thinks about you. And um, the hand on that little leopard, it's somebody who is protective of you. It's somebody who has their eyes out for you. And if ever there is a position that opens up, you would be the person that they would recommend to, you know, apply for that position or to um, get into that position. And they would, you know, greatly, um, they, they would like be the one working behind the scenes to facilitate that process for you. So this is just really good karma coming back home to roost and I also feel like you know just really strong protection and admiration and somebody who really cares about you they care about you as a person and they want the best for you so if they ever see something in a work environment a new position a promotion um, something some project they want to give it to you because they trust you and because they like you on an individual basis okay um, I don't feel like it's favoritism where it's unfair I feel like it's something that you deserve and it's something that um, uh, I, I feel like it's it's your energy they feel they see things in you like leadership qualities and and you know Pisces you don't really care about leadership you don't want to be in that position where there's a lot of responsibilities, there's a lot of office politics and maneuvering and things like that. But they see a softness, but also a diplomacy about you that they really like. And because of that, they believe they believe that you would be most suitable in a position of power. It's the people that don't want power that should be wielding the power because, you know, they don't abuse it okay so they see something in you that screams out leadership that screams out you know um, success and competence and because of that they're saving something for you 
Um, so you have some really wonderful things coming in. Uh, what else is coming in here? We have the Six of Cups, okay? So this is like um, past connection, reunification, um, reconnecting with people that we have um, kind of lost touch with. So there's an element here about reconnecting with people we haven't seen in a long time. Um, talking through social media, especially um, through text messages, through social media. Um, catching up with people, looking at pictures as well, and and you know realizing, oh wow, this person has gotten married, or this person has three kids now, or I haven't seen this person since high school, and you know they're moving to my geographical location. So there's a lot of opportunities for reconnecting, and especially if you're reconnecting, and um, I see people possibly you know planning like high school reunions, college reunions, sorority, fraternity reunions, for example, or some type of a professional uh, network that you've been a part of and now everyone is staging a reunion and then you come to these reunion and people are just like, what are you doing now? And you're just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm you know, casually, like very humbly too. Oh, I'm in this job. And then they're like, tell me more about your job. And then they find out that, you know, you're a really major player in your work environment and they're in awe and admiration and i feel like the the conversations that you're having for this month is greatly about you know reconnecting with past people but then talking to them heavily about work about your your ideals about what you aspire to do about all the changes that have taken in your professional life so things are looking really 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 good um so going back to the imagery with the inspection it ties in with this card here seven of wands this is a card about valor and it's basically defending what we believe in okay so there might be a situation where somebody is inspecting you or looking into something about your past okay and i don't want this to sound creepy or you know invasive or um stress or fear inducing it's not meant to be like that I just feel like you're in a position where somebody is asking you, why did you do this when you could have done that? Or they're asking you a lot of questions, like personal questions. It could be somebody from your past or somebody digging into your past. I feel like that inspection process, it's almost like they are occupying a role. The role of the inspector is to make sure everything is safe, okay? So it's not like they're singling you out to put you in the hot seat. Does that make sense? They're not singling you out for some reason that's personal. They're singling you out because there's something that they have to do as a part of their responsibilities. And you have to be the person that they just happen to have to do that with. So there is a, a situation where they're going to be asking you a lot of questions like, um, why are you doing this? When did this happen? What year? What time? How long? So I'm seeing a lot of uh, questions and it's, it's coming in very, very fast. And I feel like you have to be, you have to anticipate these questions so for some of you it could be like um, doing I, I guess like performance evaluation okay and um, you have to think really fast on your toes how to once again that crown chakra anticipate the questions that are going to be asked and then come up in your mind with answers rehearse the answer so that you know what to say okay and then i'm also feeling like for some of you um you might be in a situation where so for example if you're in a managerial position something goes wrong and then you take the steps in order to fix it and then after the fact you are called into your um, superior's office and they're like what exactly happened how did this happen um what were the steps that you took to to resolve this conflict so I, I see like there is some type of a potentially conflict that happened and then you might have to step in and mediate or you have to you know after the fact you have to resolve it somehow okay so i see a little bit of uh cleaning up after other people um if there is anything that happens for the first half of february any type of uh, thing that deviates from your standard uh, ways of doing, you want to mark it down, you want to write it down so that if somebody asks you, you know exactly the date and time and what you did. 
Otherwise, you might not remember it. And when you hesitate because you don't remember the details, then it can feel from their end as if you're not telling the truth. Does that make sense? If you don't know something, just say, I don't know, but let me con um, let me check or let me verify with my journal, my note, my notes or something. So I, I feel like note keeping and especially keeping the timeline straight in your mind is going to be very crucial, especially the first two weeks of February. OK. So aside from that, um, let's shift energies here. Let's shift to this bottom row. What I feel is um, there's definitely um, a really strong, a very strong sense of loyalty, okay? A very strong sense of loyalty coming through from people around you. People around you want to build with you. Once again, this Eight of Pentacles building things of stable value building something that is very prosperous beautiful and very balanced as well I, I always think of this as like balance the card itself indicates prudence so it basically means i feel like whenever we are operating you guys are operating from this space where you are illuminated where you come in with a lot of drive ambition and fire and just you know a lot of passion too you can attract a lot of people who are interested in you because they're drawn to your orbit. And what this means is this is a very passionate energy. So you are drawing a lot of positive attention. Um, whoever, whatever gender you're dating, you're drawing a lot of people that are admiring you. And as a result of it, we have prudence as well as the seven of swords which means being very very careful about not you know stepping outside of your relationship this is something i feel coming in for you pisces being careful not to be overly flirtatious if you're in a relationship don't be overly flirtatious with people outside of the relationship um knowing when to draw boundaries so that other people um you know so what's coming to mind is um, you're at work and somebody is like, Hey, um, we should, you know, let, you know, they, they, they come to you and they, they like you and they're trying to gauge where you're at. And they ask you like, Hey, I'd like to discuss that one topic a little bit further. Uh, if you're free, let's go get coffee sometimes. So it's almost like, yes, in a way they, they want to, you know, spend time with you outside of work. But at the same time, they have ulterior motives. They have romantic intentions. And so you can just tell them, um, you know, you can just tell them, um, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think my fiance would like that. Or I don't think my husband or my wife would like that. Or uh, let's do that another day when we can get a group of coworkers together. If, and then we can, you know, all of us have a discussion outside of work about whatever that topic is. So learning to think a little bit faster on our toes and not to lead the other person on. Your instincts are very sharp. If somebody is coming in um, to your environment with like romantic intentions, it's going to be known to you, okay? So you kind of need to draw cl clear boundaries and you kind of need to kind of set them in their place or at least friend zone someone who keeps coming back in, soliciting you for, you know, with like, um, with those half-hearted attempts at, you know, flirting with you and, and, and things like that. So you know who these people are and it's really important for you to draw clear boundaries. So I feel like there's temptation from your end and you feel like, oh, it's just harmless flirtation. But I, I don't think that your partner or whoever you're dealing with would like that. For those who are single, this is a whole different ballpark. For those who are single, um, great energy about people coming in. Uh, they're trying to gauge your relationship status. If you like them, by all means, go for it, okay? I see some of you talking, communicating with somebody from your past, like a past boyfriend, past girlfriend, past uh, person that you used to have like a physical, intimate relationship with. It could be like significant or it could just be like very marginal. But um, this person is trying to gauge like, are you single? Is the Pisces person single? Are they interested in rekindling? So they're, they're throwing a lot of flirtation your way. So if you're 
If you want to reconnect, I would advise you to think about this person very, very、um, carefully. I don't feel it's a good energy, okay? Just because their energy here, Seven of Swords, right underneath Six of Cups. So, blast from the past. And I feel like there's something slimy about this person. Forgive me for saying. I feel like there's something.、Um, And you know, cross watchers, if you're not a slimy person, please don't get offended. On the other hand, if you are, I feel like this needs to be said. I don't feel like this is something that's gonna, you know,、um, I don't feel like it's something that needs to be resurrected. Okay? And I feel like this person has ulterior motives. They also, there's,、uh, there's something unsettling about this person, so I think it's best for you to not get involved, okay? There's something, this person might have health issues. They might,、um, they might have physical health issues, but I feel more emotional health issues. They're very emotionally unbalanced. I see somebody who is,、um, has anger issues too, so I want you to be very careful. Okay? On the other hand, if you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn,、um, I have some really good things here. So, Princess of Disc, this is the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that, you know, they're, they're trying their best to bring things to you. The Page of Pentacles is usually, you know, they're starting out, they're not as financially stable, but they're, they're, they have a lot of skills, they're still learning, they're still growing. So, in the future, I feel like whatever they make, they want to give it to you. So, they want the relationship to be stable. And I feel like there's a lot of stability and dependability. And I feel almost like. You're starting to feel like you're doing a lot in this relationship, and you always do a lot. Okay, you're this is your energy. This is it's the Knight of Cups in this deck, but in the traditional white Rider w e i g h t deck, it's like the King of Cups. Okay, so you feel like you're doing a lot of things in this relationship, and you feel like you're giving a lot of yourself, and the other person is trying, they're trying, trying, trying to really match your pace. So be very patient with this person. The nature of earth signs is that they're very methodical, they can be a little bit like.、Um, Overindulgent, which is something I'm seeing with this person, but I feel like you know, they there's a clear division of labor here. I do this, you do that, and so I feel like they don't they, they have good intentions, they have good intentions, just be patient with them.、Um, going back to that X, we have here、uh, the Seven of Swords, we have the Justice card, and we have the Five of Cups. So I, I do sense that you want to be careful with X's, okay. If you have a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming into the picture,、um, I feel if this is an X2, I don't see that slimy energy with this person. I feel like there can be a period where things are balanced out, but once again, it's,、um, it needs to be seen through a very realistic lens, okay? So you have to really look at this and, and to figure out what's The right thing to do. For those who are singles,、um, I feel like there's strong earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and very, very strong water signs,、um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and those are really good, suitable, compatible signs with you. The other signs, I'm not seeing, I, I feel like there is an X here whose energy is worrisome to me, so just be careful about that, okay? So, I hope that the reading is helpful for you guys. Have a wonderful、um, February. And、um, once again, for those that have been emailing me, I just need to make a quick announcement. I'm no longer doing private readings. I do have a colleague that I highly recommend. Her name is Bridget. She is a psychic. I've used her services numerous times through the past、uh, two years. She was introduced to me by a family member of mine. And, you know, I've recommended friends, family to her. She's amazing. If you are interested in a reading, I highly recommend her. I've included a link to her scheduling website. If you choose to get a reading with her, I would highly recommend it. Just、um, underneath this video, there's a description box. If you can click on that link,、um, And you can book a reading with her, okay? Best of luck with everything, Pisces. I'll talk to you guys soon.